sorry, before I get into anything, are you guys like traditional COD Zombies fans? Like, is that, is that where it comes from? When I was younger, I didn't even understand what was going on in the game. I <laughs> <laughs> so did you guys start with like Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 or what was, what was the game? Onsel, BO1, I think it's because my brother. Okay, just... classic. I'll tell you how I saw you guys, right? I went on TikTok, opened it up, and I was like, why am I seeing some like, crazy level of animation on roblox zombies because i've tried like michael zombies and all the, uh, like a couple other roblox yeah, variants seen those videos yeah and, they, and they're really good like compared to what i played back in 2017 man they're incredible but what you guys are doing is literally like almost on the level of treyarch in my opinion because like treyarch has not done a lot for this ip which is really sad considering I think it's like one of the biggest. But yeah, just tell me what's going on with it. Because it looks incredible so far, man. There wasn't much content we could add to a, a CSGO slash Valorant game. The only thing we could add is like mainly skins or maps. Yeah, exactly. Like, on launch, we're planning to release three maps. Okay. So that'd be Nocturne, Toten, yeah. Five. And then we're also making our own custom map. Any so, uh, any hints about that you want to share? Or is that later down in the pipeline? Uh, we haven't even started working on the custom map. So. Okay, okay, yeah. So later down in the pipeline. <laughs> yeah. um, are there any final things that you guys would like to say? Like, just to talk about it? Because, I mean, from, from the gameplay that I'm watching, it looks really good. Yeah. So I think we, we took like, the perfect time to create a COD Zombies game, especially because like Michael Zombies, um, the community actually has been, has not really liked the game because of the lack of updates and stuff. Right, right. So gotta, no. gotta look for a new game. Listen, you chose the perfect time for COD Zombies fans. We have a drought until the end of next year in 2024. So like having a game that you can hop in and play, I think you guys are coming out at the perfect time. Also, I forgot to ask, how many weapons do you guys plan on adding initially? Are you guys going to be adding more weapons as we go, or what's going on with that? So we're having, let's see, I think it's like, I think it's like 30 something, 35 weapons. Something like around that number. That's a good, that's, that's a great amount. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's going to be expanded. Every single level you unlock in the game, right? Because there's... Yeah. It's probably gonna be around like 56 levels right yeah so every single level every single time we update the game and add a weapon we're gonna make it so that your level cap goes up so that you have to uh, right. to get to, to get that next weapon so you have awesome. to grind to the max level are you guys going to be doing prestiging at all or is it just a linear progression system it's just a linear progression perfect perfect yeah i i honestly i despise prestiging <laughs> it gets, it gets i mean we just pointless. thought it was we thought prestiging would have been like a little bit too much. Yeah, for, I agree. How much stuff is in the game already? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's awesome. Anything? Anything else? I've I've got all my questions answered. I'm I'm excited. Do you want to test the game? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, okay. why not, bro? Hey, hey no, Gonzo's in. Let's go, man. Gonzo, what's yeah. up? Oh, I'm my, my computer broke. <laughs> yeah, because the world animations aren't ready. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna play Scar. Whoa, this is sick. Yo, this is sick, man. The whole Cold War system here set up. This is this is insane. Yeah, and some people prefer the BO1 experience. So in settings, you can also turn off health bars and all that if you want. To be honest, I like I don't mind life, bro. Oh, that's sick. The zombies drop stuff just like in Cold War. So on hardcore, they don't drop things, right? Because you guys are like trying to make it like. The original experience oh they, they, still, uh, drop things. they, still, oh, they drop. still drop things okay like, okay hardcore is like um they're basically two hit you just like in BO1. oh I see, I see so is Let's it start. three hit right now on the regular then uh it's scaled i think it takes a lot of hits for you to go down if, if you get hit right now i think you get you take yeah. like 10 damage when Let's you get see. to like really high rounds they'll start doing oh, yeah, high damage, damage. Oh, i see okay so yeah it's just like it's just like cold war in that way i see that's yeah. really cool. So uh, casual is for your you know, intermediate players who want to have fun. Hardcore, we strip um, we strip the loadouts, make right. zombies a lot harder. They actually have bigger hitboxes as well. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah, and one of the things we tried really hard is to make it so you can't jump over zombies. Oh, that's a good idea, man. <laughs> These images are funny. Bro. Oh, yeah. So we added our own um, 
pictures <laughs> of actual developers and friends. Oh, that's lovely. Hey, there's Gonzo. No, it's I, I think that's sick though, considering like whatever you guys end up doing. It's I, I, I would dude, I would I've been looking for a game to just grind camels on that I'll actually play. So like yeah. seriously, if you guys have all these like crazy glowing camels and stuff, I would absolutely love to try that, man. That would be sick. Yeah. At the moment the elevator's a bit janky. No, trust me, I, I spit it out. Listen, uh, so I'm remaking Die Rise, right, for BO3. That's been one of the biggest problems we've had too, is like getting the player to have like a smooth transition downwards on the moving elevator is crazy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's been a, a big struggle as well. Yeah, it's it's a common gaming thing. So and it like makes you appreciate how back in BO1, man, they did that flawlessly and we just didn't even know, you know? Wow. Let's slide down those stairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Hold on, bro. Gotta get her running. Yeah, dude, wow. I like that. It, like, changed the whole momentum. I noticed on, um, what is it, um, certain aspects of Cold War, you would, like, slide down stairs, right? And you would not get that type of momentum. Like, this just feels like butter, you know? Yeah. I like that. Are you guys gonna add, like, the little traps, the buildable traps on this map? Because I know, like... That's a big staple. I don't know. I didn't see on the top if they are um, already set in place or... Um... Well, you have to turn on the power. So the way we did it was it's just the required power is just required. for. Power is so... just the required thing. I see. Yeah, okay. When the runners come in, they're a bit scary. Oh, yeah, bro. Look at him, bro. Ah! <laughs> You know what? I will buy it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a PhD. So is this the PhD slider that I know about? Is this is this how it's gonna work? Uh we haven't finished at the moment it just said uh, it's like BO1 right now. Oh I see, I see. But we're figuring out what to add for the upgrades, so we might do that. Right. Um I know the regular PhD just makes you slide so much farther. Yeah. I don't know how that would be, especially if you guys are considering doing like super small maps. It would be fun though. Um, okay, I'm gonna buy some more ammo here. Yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, I'm probably gonna just buy all the, <laughs> all the guns off the wall. Oh, no ammo off the wall, yeah, so you oh, guys wait. made it, made it so it's yeah, actually, ammo crate the, only? That's a bug, good thing oh, Okay, okay. That. How's the, uh, longevity of the game in terms of, like, game testing for high rounds? Because, like, I know that's a problem where, like, with COD zombie maps, if you play them for too long, eventually they reset, right? So I'm just curious, like... You guys have a dedicated server so with the dedicated server is that going to make it so that people can just pause their games and go for super high rounds or can you not pause the game right it does have to all be in one session like how are you guys going to do that for solo you're going to be able to pause the game okay but not for like public or like lobbies and stuff right so another thing i also mention is um, you can't. I mean, we could post. add something like that, like a group pause, like everybody votes to pause the game. We could do something like that. We could. Eh. I guess yeah, we could. That is a Cold War feature, to be honest. Like that, the it, I I think with Cold War, it's whoever the host is when they oh, pause, yeah, it just goes into a group pause. Um, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but I I know that, like. Yeah, I, I do like the idea, though, of, like, a, a vote to pause. I think that's really cool. I know in some versions of Roblox, you can kill a zombie, like, way in the barricade, and they'll drop, like, an insta-kill or something, right? So I'm just curious, like, if you guys have programmed that, or if it's, like, uh, just wherever you kill them, that those drop drops. I know it's a uh, random question, but I'm just, I'm curious, because, like, I know every Ro Roblox game does it different, right? Yeah, so we're planning to make it so... Zombie drops can't happen when they're in the barricade. Okay, okay, perfect, yeah. You can't, you can't grab it, so it doesn't make sense to spawn it in. Okay, I've stockpiled enough. I'm, I'm dipping. <laughs> I'm going all the way. You wanted me to get pap on? I'm going, I'm doing it right now, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm going all the way in, bro. Addressing your earlier question about the dedicated server. Yeah. So, Roblox doesn't allow you to host your own servers. Oh, okay. You have, you have to host on theirs. Um, the reason we have our own is um, Roblox's uh, databases, they don't allow us to do some stuff. Like, for example, the leaderboard, you can't do that with Roblox databases. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, we do that. And we also, um, we also use our own database for analytics. 
So and is there a reason why they don't allow you to do that? Do you guys uh, know? Security. Oh. They don't, want, they don't want you to get IPs of clients and stuff. I see. Okay, that that makes sense, I guess. So yeah, Roblox's databases. Um. Oh no. It's broken. Oh, no, did I get a bug? Wait, hold on. If I buy it's a new gun. Because you drank the speed cola, that's why. Uh, yeah, okay. If you buy a new gun, it will fix it. Okay, okay. I'm going to do that. Hey, yeah. let's go. Yeah, that's one bug we need to fix. Is it when I reload with bullets or without bullets or without something? Without bullets. Without bullets. Okay, I will make sure to always have bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and so if I swap back. Okay, yeah. no, no, I got it now. Oh, no, no, I don't have it now. I see, I see. So it just ruins the gun. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, now you good. want me to do the death calls, huh? Yeah. Let's yep. see if I can get him going here. Yeah, so currently there there isn't many sounds in the game. We, we're working on the sound design pretty soon. Right. So we have zombie sounds. We have ambient sounds right now. I don't know if you can hear it. I do hear right. that, like that in the back. I like that. It's, it, it, gives, it gives off a great ominous feeling, like... It's almost like that ominous, like, Genius. electric light buzzing that you hear in, like, an office setting. That's what I'm, that's the vibe I'm getting right now for this, you know? Yeah. So, I'd say, like, 5 is one of the more scary maps of how, like, dark it is. It really is. Yeah. It, it, I don't think people appreciate how scary this map is. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just doing this to flex. Okay. Wasn't there a wall weapon here? I thought for yeah, sure there was. There is. Oh, is it over there? It'll, it'll be added. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I know, you're talking about the MP5, right? I think. Ooh, the UMP. Oh, you guys don't have that one in. Dude, I'm yeah. so glad you're getting the UMP. That's like one of my favorite SMGs ever. Yeah. Keep a zombie alive and do the death con. Oh, you didn't turn it on. Oh. No, I know. I'm, I'm, I was looking for a gun, but... I don't think I'm. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna have enough money to pop. Hold on, I'll do oh, one yeah. more. I'll do one more round. Yeah, you should probably buy ammo as well. True, true, true. All these steps. It's probably in the basement somewhere. Yeah. Actually, if you reload the, um, uh, you get ammo for for the MP7. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, I think I should be all right. I was trying to do that, but hold on. Well, it doesn't let you. Is it not? You have like a split second to uh, get oh, it. I'm buying jug. The per I gotta say, y'all, the perk shaders are fire. Like, those look insane. Yeah, that's, uh, I think Gonza made them, right? Bro, you need perk shaders? Yeah, like the, the icons. The icons, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't die. I'm, I, I'm, I. No, that's why I grabbed jug, bro. That's why I grabbed jug. Uh, press tab. You can see how much scrap you have. Okay. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, you actually yeah. upgrade your gun, I think. Actually, no, you need um more rare scrap. Okay. It's no, the I. Bottom, by the way, if you didn't. Know. Yeah, I. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm admiring it. I'm liking how you guys are integrating all the Cold War stuff, and including ping too is huge. I don't know why. I think, I think on Cold War they stop showing your ping. Or like really? Black Ops 4 or something. Because I remember right. there was a new COD Zombies game that just stopped showing ping. And I was like, why? Mm. You have very low ping. Yeah. I, uh, I'm a, I'm a West Coaster. I guess that's why. Uh, hello. You need more ammo against me. Yeah, I got a pat. This is where, we're, this is now. It's now or never. Yeah. You can activate the last Fcon. I le I left the worst one for last. <laughs> yeah. I truly did. Oh, they look at him way. come, bro! <laughs> yeah. Look at him go! When they, when they run like that. Oh, bro, this is horrifying. Yeah, also headshots okay. deal uh, triple damage. Right, yeah, it's just like Cold yeah. War. Yeah, I gotta aim for that. Hey, I love it. Yo, that's sick, dude. Y'all, y'all got it in. This looks class. Wow. And if you hey. shoot it, you got the Hey, red. yo, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Who's this, bro? It's our community manager. Oh, I love it. Yeah, because like in the regular five, this is supposed to be. Yeah, I think like one of these is supposed to be like an ominous photo. Yeah, yeah you can see also bro. the uh, the Department of Defense, the new icons. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, 
one of the biggest secrets back in the day was people thought that this door could open. If you put something uh, behind that door, that would be insane, bro. Also, I just noticed that you guys have the um, the Cold War Pack-A-Punch symbol. That looks clean, too. Yeah. So, is there an armor... I saw the, the, the salvage table, like, for crafting. Is it like Cold War, where you guys have an armory, too? Uh, no, I'm... Like, so, like, in, in, in Cold War, there's, like, a dummy that oh, you yeah, go up to? Oh, yeah. We you have see that. it. Okay. It's, uh... Open that, uh, uh barricade. Yeah. If you see that black box, you have to Oh, this it. is it. I see, yeah. I see. Oh, okay, perfect. perfect. I get yourself stuck. Yeah, yeah. So, I... you press E to close it again. Oh, lovely. We can add more armor, actually, right now, if you want. Ah, lovely. I know, in, I know in Cold War, the armor is integral to not dying. Yeah. No, this is sick, man. Yeah, this reminds me, like... Oh, wow, this looks clean. The level of detail is way better than in BO1. In BO1, this is like a 144p image. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so bad on BO1, bro. Yeah, making a uh, 5 taken much longer than we expected. Yeah, like no, like for sure. 45 months on just this map alone. Wow. Yeah, that is like, you know, after working with people that do custom mapping on BO3 and then like seeing you guys do it, I do appreciate the level of detail because like the amount of work that goes into stuff like this is truly a lot. Like you always have to think that someone is bending over backwards to give you this experience, man. So I think that's, that's really cool. Goodness, no, it's got trapped. Yeah, no, they are. Try, they're coming. Try keeping me. a zombie alive. Hit the box. Maybe True. You can get the again. True. Yeah, if I can get the rig, I'll be sick. Yeah. This brings me down. Hey, dude. Yeah, I, mean, I love the way you guys like. It looks more style like stylized like Bo One than Cold War, which I think is cool. I'm gonna see if I can cheat and see the box. You're, su you're supposed to. Yeah. That's okay. how funny the windows. Yeah, I think it's in the uh, the first room again. Yeah, I think it's in that room again. Too. Dang, these boys hauling! They're going! They got some, think, um, some place to be. When I first implemented the sprinters, I accidentally swapped uh, super sprinters and normal sprinters around. Oh, okay. So they chase you around, like, in like, round 7, you you'd just be dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shotguns are really powerful. Yeah, whoa, so you guys are making them, like, Cold War here. Yeah. No, I, listen, I really like that. I think Cold War shotguns are cool because like firing a shotgun and it doing nothing has got to be one of the worst feelings ever oh and oh, there you it got is the sheesh let's go hey with the classic sounds oh just don't die yeah hey okay i gotta upgrade this bro this looks clean dude yep so we had a nice. custom particle designer make these wow that looks sick, bro. Yeah, we tried uh, imitating the BO1 ray gun. So if you shoot it, you can see the rays. Yeah, no, it looks perfect. It looks spot on, y'all. Yeah, and this looks sick. Probably want a PhD for that as well. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot PhDs on it. PhDs at the uh, the bottom. bottom yeah. That's sick, bro. Hold on. Oh. Oh, brought me to the top. I think the most difficult thing was trying to figure out how the you turn on the, uh, the like, oh the traps, traps. hey so okay. the power on nice okay let's let's see oh perfect they they die it in there bro lovely yep. yeah no okay so I like that you guys put them in because I mean it's oh, cool because five is like it's like one of the first zombie maps that has um like buildables in it but it's just so pointless i feel like you know Ooh. no fire cell it's perfect lovely yeah. we uh we have the winter's howl but um we removed it because it's not ready okay we don't have uh, sounds for it yet oh these boys coming sheesh m1911 bruh wait tell me you guys have this as mustang and sally i have um, to try it we don't have that yet. Not yet? Okay. So, uh, one of the things, like, other zombie games, I haven't oh, seen whoops. 
Oh yeah, you have to see I forgot that. about that. <laughs> I haven't seen them do like the the cool guns like they have in a BO one where you get the Mustang and Sally, you know the crossbow, the right, right. What it's called, but it becomes a monkey bomb. Maybe yeah, the the awful lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I agree. I think like those weapons, like the special weapons, have such a strong prominence to be super good, like later yeah. on down the line. So that's what we're planning to do. I know adding dual wielding weapons is going to be really complicated with Mustang and Sally, but we'll do it. Okay, well, I'm going to pop this ray gun. Whoa, they are, they are scaring me, bro. Also, I forgot to ask, what is this like glowing square to the right of me? Is that challenges or? Oh no, that's uh, that's debug stuff. Oh, okay, okay. It's basically for our animator, or not animators, our sound designers to sync up the sound to the gun. Oh, Tells when the animation's oh. playing. Oh, cool, okay. I so no green idea. means an animation's playing. Oh, I came down there to get PhD, I didn't get PhD. <laughs> Dude, I did this all the time, bro. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, where is it? It's over here. Yeah, the scary thing about the third floor is, uh, no, not that one. Um, oh, wrong, wrong door. This yeah. one. Whoops. Yeah, the basement is hella scary. No, like, this. No the way everywhere. you guys have stylized it is actually horrifying, bro. Like, this is this is scary. And I like, cause you guys are going off of the old philosophy of the perks giving the room a lot of light. Like, I really like that, cause it makes it actually feel like you're under attack. Whereas, like, in some new zombie maps, like, it's so bright and all that, like, you don't even yeah. care about that. And yeah, the only issue is that having, having it look ominous, like, it costs FPS because of the light sources. True, yeah. And they're very expensive to run yeah. in Roblox. This box looks crazy, too, man. I love the way yeah. you guys got the classic help on there. The, oh, that was a pro 90 right there, bro. Yeah. yeah, you probably keep the shotguns. They're probably one of the yeah. strongest. Yeah, this is fire. Right yeah, this is a purple, bro. I'm... I'm keeping this. Oh, buddy wants to go. Yeah, yeah no, the range is cool. Yeah, some of the most complicated things to do for corrupt zombies is the pathfinding for the zombies. Yeah, I noticed that. Like, and I think that's usually what makes or breaks certain zombie games because if the pathing is bad, then like it just ruins the whole games. But you guys have got a great pathing, man. Like, it, yeah, it I... actually makes me feel like I'm about to. Get bullied. Oh. oh, yeah, great path. <laughs> no, I mean, As like, he's ready to yeah. blaze. He, fi he fixed himself. He fixed himself. I, I, I think, yeah, like, you guys obviously have some things to do, but, like, it's it's close, though, you know? It is almost there. Oh. I don't see it. it seem to be having issues now. It's, yeah, it's just, like, I get how that's, like, where zombies can, like, get stuck in certain areas and stuff, so don't worry. I think you guys are closer than you think. Yeah. Zombie AI isn't perfect, so we're we We have a current bug where they keep going back and forth. Right. Uh, yeah. Still trying to figure out. Okay, I want to pop this ray gun, bro. I want to see what this thing looks like. Well, it, it, I don't expect it to look different, but I want to see like. Well, how we're, it we're gonna we're gonna add um, pack punch skin soon. And where so the gun changes the look of it yeah. with the camels. Are you guys overriding pack a punch camels? Or are you making yeah. it? Yeah, oh, yeah, Oh, cool. Okay, so just like the original, then. Okay, that's sick. And will the ray gun have a camo in like the weapon kits that you can swap, or is it mainly just bullet weapons? Uh, I think uh, we do fall guns, right? Yeah. Like, what do you mean specifically? Uh, I'm just saying, like, so will the ray gun have, like, a camel that I can switch in the main menu? Or, like, will... Uh, uh, I don't think it's for special weapons. Because we don't okay. have any, like... In that menu where you can change your skins and things, we don't have, like, the wonder weapons there. Right, right. So it'll probably just be the pack a punch skin, most likely. No, that's, that's perfect, though. Because, like, that, that was one of my biggest things in... Um, oh, I like this effect that you guys have on here. This reminds me of... Um, it's, it was this blue effect in BL3. I feel like in Derizendrac, you'd see it a lot. Like this lightning kind of smoke. The pack punch looks yeah. sick. Y'all killed it with that, bro. For real. Um, 
Yeah, A in the red. Lovely, bro. Bro, this is a thumbnail material right here, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, listen. Anything else y'all wanted to uh, talk about? This is great. I, I, you guys don't have a speculated release date yet, do you? Or are you uh, planning? I still know it. It's okay. still too early to say that. Still, though, regardless. Like, I, I don't care how long this takes. Like, as soon as you guys launch this, this is going to go crazy. Because, like... I'm gonna be playing this. I'll be grinding for camels and stuff. This will be a lot of fun, man. Yeah. You know, like, TikTok has really loved this game. Yeah, no, TikTok is gonna go crazy once y'all release this. So, yeah, I think what you guys are doing is smart. Like, release your content as actual updates, right? Like, slowly put them out. Because that's one of the biggest problems that Treyarch did, bro. Like, I don't know if y'all were there when, like, BO4 dropped, but, like, there were too many things that changed too quickly. And people were just upset. I think people love it way more where it's just like active content. Because you guys switching a bug is literally content. You know? Like it might not seem like content to you guys. But like for your audience that wants to know like what's in it. What type of weapons. How it's going to work. Like that's all content. You know? So. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, any any other final things you guys have to say? This is really you cool. You basically though, got the gist of the game. Yeah, no, this is sick. I'm I'm really excited. Um, yeah, so for like uh, Nocturne and Toten, we plan to add our Easter egg to it. That's oh, sick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys planning on doing Easter eggs every map or just certain maps or? Because listen, um, even there's gonna they... be there's gonna be a main objective. Oh, cool. For, okay. For like each map. Because even if. Like I said, even if they're not even the same or there's something just small, like something to do where like you guys have like that speedrun category already, yeah. bro, like I know people that would eat that up, man. You know? Yeah. You just gotta you just gotta be all about it. And yeah. yeah, like I'm I'm a big fan also of progression, so like being able to like get different progression on all the guns and stuff. Yeah, I will I'm not yeah, even you'll be able to guys. level up each weapon and then yeah. get the attachments for that weapon and then you know or yeah. you can buy it i'm not even lying you guys i will i will be grinding this game i think it'll be a lot of fun considering i've i've been waiting for a cod zombies game to grind for so long i just feel like there hasn't been anything quality but like if you guys are constantly putting out updates and engaging people the way you have it, it's gonna you guys are gonna kill it bro i'm really excited yeah. I know, like, um, a lot of the Zombies games currently, like, it's just, like, BO1, there's nothing, like, to play for, there's no... Yes! Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and that's, that's the biggest fault of COD, because COD Zombies can have a ton of replayability within it, I think it's just that you have to find it, like, I think you guys are already doing it, like, challenges that are similar to Modern Warfare 2, having leaderboards up with specific rewards, like, this is... This is way it's the farther. Whole package. No, it's more than that, bro. This is way farther than anything Treyarch has ever done, bro. Like no, no cap. Like this, you guys are actually innovating the game right now. So, that's sick. Like, I feel like you guys should feel great about that. Cause I mean, listen, all it takes is for you guys to just do things right that people have been wanting for God Zombies for so long. And then Activision's gonna be on your nose, bro. <laughs> like, there, you know? I'm not even lying. Like, that's all it takes. So, yeah, this this gets me extremely excited for sure. I mean, I are you guys planning like just are, are, like if I if you were to take a wild guess, right? Would this year still be a date that you'd be planning to do, or are you speculating like it's gonna take more time? Like, how how are you guys thinking about that? Yeah, so there's already public knowledge in our Discord, but uh, are guaranteed, we're guaranteed to release this year. Awesome. That's amazing, bro. Yep. I um, I know what deadlines are like, bro. Trust. I'm trying to do Die Rise on BO3. That's been a nightmare, bro. But uh, Yeah, I think um, some of the mistakes that developers do is they pu put out deadlines publicly. Exactly. And they're still exactly. working. Yeah. No, I, so, I agree. That's a huge, huge, huge mistake. And I, that's why I'm saying, take your time, y'all. Come out with a product that you guys are happy with first. That should be everything, right? Yeah. So. We, we, did, the mis we did that mistake on Rush Point. Right. We, right. Uh, 
We had to. I mean, the game was hella rust, and there's so many bugs on release. And like, like listen, you me. you caught the initial wave that you did for Rush Point. I feel like right with your with your content and stuff. All you got to do now though is just keep the content coming on a slower rate, right? Even even if it's a little amount of content, and it's coming out every once in a while, bro. As, if, as long as there's something happening for pe players to chew on, that's important, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. And I think you guys are going to be able to do that quite easily. Because, like, I mean, it's not like you're Treyarch and you have to have Activision whitelist all of your movements and all your actions and record everything. I mean, you guys are just on Roblox. So the, lim the there is really very small limitations compared to, like, Treyarch and Activision and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, thank y'all for letting me play, for real, I, uh, I appreciate this. Thank you so much, bro. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out in style, man. Oh, I have PhD. Die. I was, I have PhD, I was like, how am I gonna die here? Uh, here, I'll go out, I'll go out in a scary area. And with my last stand in the shop. Dude, the shotgun's still one-hitting. No, I keep this, bro. Keep yeah. these overpowered shotguns for real, bro. That's the, I think that's the thing I like the most about Cold War that changed up the meta. It used to be just... It used to be just the LMG, right? Yeah. In VO1. Yeah. Was, like, no, I, shotgun's actually viable. And that's something y'all can do as well. Like, you can even change up the meta, add a new gun that's, like, insane, and then <laughs> do what Treyarch does and just and nerf, nerf it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, you don't have to nerf it, but, like, listen, I don't know what you guys think about nerfing stuff and design philosophy of zombies. I just think it's a pointless thing, because, like, it's a horde mode, you know? Like, you want to be overpowered, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, one thing we'll also focus on on Corrupt is having consistent updates. Right. Like, yeah. That, that matters a lot. So, you know, and you dude, know every, every other Friday. Is there an update or something? Even if it's just like you add one new field upgrade, like let's say you add the toxic growth field upgrade, like Cold War did, right? If you don't wait too long and that's like your whole weekly update, that's huge, bro. I think it's better, right, as a content creator to do like one to two things every week, like you guys are planning to, than do nine things once every three months and hope people yeah. adopt to that you know that's just common sense to me you know yeah just keep adding stuff to the game and uh... yeah like even if it's dude even it's a if it's even an if it's icon small. change i don't care if it's like you added a jingle to speed cola like that's like th that is more than enough to be like yo okay you can tweet that out. It's like anything that you can pocket on a tweet. That should be what your update is, right? Like, oh, we added a perk. Oh, we did this. Oh, we did that, right? Like, I don't want to tell y'all how to do your job, but I think you guys are doing incredible already. Like, you yeah. guys have the right idea. Oh, oh. <laughs> there. Uh, there we go, bro. Dude, I, I gotta say, you guys are you guys are doing a great job. I think I think this is gonna come out really really great. And like for real, I will I will make sure to publicize any sort of changes you guys do and keep up to date. And if you guys want me to do anything or upload anything, let me know for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for I mean, that. we're trying to get uh, like a lot of YouTubers playing the game and stuff like that. Yeah, bro. Them, for real. Getting people to. I mean, I'll, I'll get this around, like, within the zombies community, because I know these guys are more than happy enough to be playing something while waiting for COD 2024, especially like this. So, uh, yeah. That's perfect. It's sick, dude. Yeah. Really sick.